everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go through how to do a turnaround of a character. My process is really rough and I just do it, um, so I don't know if it will help you, but if it does, I will be super super happy. So before I actually start talking about how to do it, I just want to say sorry for not posting last week. I've uh, just been stressing out a little bit and needed a break. Also this week has been a little bit stressful, that's why we're doing a video that I did a few weeks ago um, instead of a very recent one. And also, not to my schedule that I did announce, uh, but what you gotta do, sometimes it doesn't happen to plan next week. I will be doing the monster illustration now, so keep your eyes peeled for that. So with that out of the way, let's talk about how I do character turnarounds. So turnarounds are very important when you're going to draw your character multiple times for animation or comics or even going to model it. It's really good to know how your character look from the side and from the back and not just the front. Um, it is also good practice to see if you can make a character look the same front and side. Um, it's kind of a test of a style. So the way I do it is I like to go three quarter view front, then side view and then three quarter view back. But you could also do straight on and straight on back, so um, it's up to you. But the way I do it is I draw the character in three quarter and then I pull all these little lines out to the sides. Uh, so the lines are all there to mark where certain facial features end and start and just figuring how where to place it on the side view. Um, so I tend to find the middle point of the face, for example, and then the bottom part of the nose, pull that line to the side, and then use that line to create the, pro the nose from the profile view. Um, the same for the placement of the shoulder, the cr crotch, uh, maybe the hand, the tail, uh, ears, the horns, like everything that it is important to the character. Sometimes it will look weird, so that I have to keep tweaking the side view until it actually looks like um, the character again. Uh, but that kind of comes with practice and figuring out how you draw certain uh, facial features. But of course it's important to remember um, anatomy and how people look from the side. Even though it, like not depending on art style, it's just you need to have your anatomy correct. Um, so I would recommend looking up uh, human anatomy pictures of side view and see how the legs are placed, how the balance is placed. Usually um, when you look at people, the balance of the chin will kind of be right under the toes, which means that the legs will go slightly backwards and not just straight down. That's a very important thing to remember. Uh, but yeah, always pull up reference when you are doing a turnaround, just to be safe that the anatomy is correct. So for the back view, it, I have a little trick that I find really easy to use, but you have to use it correctly to make it work. And you have to tweak a lot as well. So what I do is I take the front three quarter view, flip it horizontally. Um, you can go, do this by doing transform and then flip horizontally. Uh, you, you have to copy the front view, of course. And then you erase everything in the center of that drawing, like the front one. Uh, and then you fill in the gaps, but from the back. So um, to make this more, <laughs> explain this better, uh, imagine pulling all those lines, but instead of pulling all those lines, you kind of get the lines by flipping it. So, for example, where the shoulder would be, it would be marked in the silhouette. It will look kind of the same in the back view. The only thing that you need to change when you do that is where the legs are placed, because when you flip it, um, the legs won't be in perspective anymore because it's the wrong view. Um, so you have to put the right leg a little bit lower and the left leg a little bit higher just to fit in the perspective again. And also there's a lot of other tweaks to do when you do that trick, so it might be better if you're more used to it. So I'll also just recommend pulling out the lines to figuring out the height of where everything is and the placement of where all the, the important details are. You have to think three-dimensional three when you are doing this. Well, that was a lot of uh, speed talking. I hope I actually made some sense and you kind of could tell what I was doing from the speed paint. Uh, if you didn't, please tell me and I will do it some other way. Um, <laughs> about the character, I was kind of playing around with the idea that he would be a part of the Nettle universe, just a devil, and I actually ended up giving him 
uh, blonde hair instead of black hair because it looked cooler uh, and less traditional, you know, with devil with the black hair. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you didn't, well, then you can tell me, <laughs> I guess. And if you did, please tell me then as well. Anyway, guys, I will see you next week, hopefully back on the right schedule. And yeah, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.